DNC is featuring a number of Republicans this week in an effort to sway swing voters. Former Georgia Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan, former Congressman Adam Kinzinger, and former Trump administration official Olivia Troy will be speaking either today or tomorrow. Meanwhile, former Trump White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham and Mesa, Arizona Mayor John Giles spoke yesterday slamming former President Trump. Behind closed doors, Trump mocks his supporters. He calls them basement dwellers. On a hospital visit one time when people were dying in the ICU, he was mad that the cameras were not watching him. He has no empathy, no morals, and no fidelity to the truth. He used to tell me, it doesn't matter what you say, Stephanie. Say it enough and people will believe you. But it does matter. What you says matter. And what you don't say matters. When I was press secretary, I got skewered for never holding a White House briefing. It's because unlike my boss, I never wanted to stand at that podium and lie. Now here I am, behind a podium, advocating for a Democrat. And that's because I love my country more than my party. Kamala Harris tells the truth, she respects the American people, and she has my vote. I have a confession to make. I'm a lifelong Republican. So I feel a little out of place tonight, but I feel more at home here than in today's Republican Party. The grand old party has been kidnapped by extremists and devolved into a cult, the cult of Donald Trump. I have an urgent mes message for the majority of Americans who, like me, are in the political middle. John McCain's Republican Party is gone, and we don't owe a damn thing to what's been left behind. So you're hearing from Republicans there, including uh, that was Stephanie Grisham, who was mm -hmm. the chief of staff to Melania Trump, White House yeah. press secretary as well, but saying that on January 6, 2021, she texted and produced the text, put it up on the screen, said, we need to say peaceful protests are fine, but no violence. We should put out a statement. So she was asking Melania, Melania to, do to do that. And Melania replied simply, no. Uh, wow. So there, there you have it. So meanwhile, while Democrats wow. were spreading that optimistic message about America yesterday and last night, former President Donald Trump delivering a dour speech, to put it mildly, about the state of the country as he sees it. At a sheriff's office in Howell, Michigan, Trump spent nearly an hour vilifying migrants and making false claims about crime under the Biden-Harris administration. Just about every law enforcement uh, group in the country has endorsed us, as you probably have heard. And there's a reason for that, because I believe in law enforcement. The other group doesn't. But you can't walk across the street to get a loaf of bread. You get shot. You get mugged, you get raped, we will stop the plunder, rape, slaughter, and destruction of our American suburbs. I keep the suburbs safe. I stopped low-income towers from rising right alongside of their house, and I'm keeping the illegal aliens away from the suburb. In 2019, they had zero. Now you have thousands of terrorists coming into our country. Thousands of terrorists. These are the people that blew up the World Trade Center. Bad things will happen. They don't arrest people anymore. And uh, they shouldn't arrest people for saying the election was rigged, but they like that. They go, they go after guys like me, but they don't go after people that kill people. Uh, it, 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 Donald Trump, uh, of course, uh, describing the plot of Fort Apache, the Bronx. <laughs> uh, it's a great movie. What it a is reference. a great, great movie. Great reference. But, but great reference, too, but it bears absolutely well, no. no resemblance to what's happening right now because he says you get shot if you walk across the street. Or raped. Or raped if you want to get a piece of bread. Um, crime, I know that these facts, as Ronald Reagan would say, they're such stubborn things and I know it irritates people who support Donald Trump, but if crime keeps going on the trajectory that it's going right now, it's going to be lower than it was violent crime in 1950. Crime is going in an extraordinarily positive direction right now. 
We've seen inflation continuing to go down. And again, I just don't know how many times I can say this, but, but, but it needs to be repeated because Republicans lie so much about immigration. Illegal border crossings were at a 50 year low when Barack Obama left office and Donald Trump became president of the United States. It skyrocketed after Barack Obama left office. Remember, he was called deporter in chief. Remember that? There's a reason, because illegal border crossings under Obama, Biden, were at a 50 year low. Then Donald Trump became president and started to skyrocket. And now illegal border crossings are lower than they were when Donald Trump left office. So I understand that facts don't matter for so many people who support Donald Trump, because how could they if you're still supporting Donald Trump? Now, we could go down the long, long list of things he said and things he's done. I've got to say that Stephanie Grisham email Ooh. to Melania Trump, the text, yeah. the text saying, should we say that the protest should be peaceful? And her response being no, really shows uh, just uh, uh, how corrosive, how corrosive um, that administration was and the people around Donald Trump. It's, it's inexplicable. Mm. It's inexplicable that anybody, uh, any president, any first lady, anybody associated with the White House would not call for peaceful protests. And yet there you have it. At least the president, the first lady, no. no. While I will say everybody else around Donald Trump, including his children, were desperately trying to get through to him saying, Tell, tell them to stop. Fox News hosts who would go on that night and defend Donald Trump after the riots, after the four dead cops, they would defend Donald Trump. But while it was happening, they were desperately asking him for it to stop. His lawyers begging him to tell him to stop. They wouldn't do it. So, yeah, it's... Um, I guess facts really just don't matter, unfortunately, to, to so many. But